Hey guys, what's up? So today I'll be showing you how to connect your Elgato into your Xbox One. I do not have a PlayStation, so I'm sorry about that, but I believe the Xbox and PlayStation are really similar. So if you watch this video and you're a PlayStation, you can probably find out how to do it on PlayStation. So what you would need is Elgato, which is right there. If you don't know what Elgato is, basically what it is, it basically like allows you to record from like your um, Xbox. So like when I'm playing like a game or something like that on Xbox One or PlayStation, then that's Instead, it's like you know, just record the screen itself, so it's a lot nicer. And that's what other people use when you see them playing like games like Xbox and PlayStation games. They use Elgato, so Elgato is usually about 100 to like 250 or 100 to 200 dollars. I got it on Black Friday for like 120 160 dollars, which is a pretty good price for it. And they're really nice, they've been out for like years and years and years. So, you need an Xbox One or PlayStation, you need Elgato, you have to have your HDMI wires, and you do need a computer. So, I have my Windows computer right there and my Mac Pro right here. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter. So, whatever one you prefer. This one has a lot more space. This one's new. And that one's a pretty old one. I mean, it's a couple years old. And it has, like, no space on it. So, I'm going to download OBS Studio on this. But, um, you guys also need to download OBS Studio on your computer. And you would need to download Elgato. Um, it's a like game capture from the Elgato website. Uh, so, basically, how you do this is that you want to um, get your, your Elgato right here. You basically come to two wires. If not, you need an HDMI wire. And it definitely comes to this wire right here. This is, like, your audio one. So, you basically have your output right here, which nothing's in there, and then your import, you have your HDMI wire right there, and then the other wire right there. So, what you want to do is, the wire already in your S-Bots, so not this one right here. This is like your power one, the one that's do it. So, you use using one hand. So, this one right here, the HDMI for the S-Bots one. So, you want to unplug this out, and you want to take this, and you want to plug it into the out of your Elgato. So just like that, and then for your HDMI, so for this one right here, um, which is this one right here, you want to plug this in the back of your S spots where you unplug that one. So which is right next to this one right here. So guys, this is probably like the worst day to do. So also I got a cut on my finger, so like I have a bandaid. Um, so it's, it even makes it more harder because I'm using one hand. But you want to connect that one from Yogato to, and then place that down. And then this one right here, you want to get that wire, which is this one right here, and you want to plug this into your computer. So, before we do that, I just want to say that um, your computer doesn't have an HDMI, so the Windows does, but the Mac, this is a new Mac, so it does not have the HDMI. So, don't panic, um, it only has these things right there, these like the iPhone charger. You need to buy, I gotta get this from Best Buy on Black Friday, the MacBook Pro. And also, I brought this, so you need this thing right here. So from Best Buy, I'm not really sure what it's called, but they know what you're talking about if you tell them um, your scenario or something like that. You'd be like, I have a Macro Pro, and you connect the HDMI wire to it, so I can get by the extension for it, and they'll basically give it to you. I think these were like 20, 30 bucks, something like that. So I think it came in twos. Or not, no, I bought two of them. Yeah, I think it cost me like 20 bucks each or something, or 15, 20 dollars each. It wasn't that bad. And what you do is you connect this part to the computer and then you plug the HDMI into this part right here, the back part of it right here. So that's what you just need, you just need an extension. So now I'm gonna connect, like I said, this thing right here to my Windows. You can do it for Mac too, you just need to put an extension in. So guys, I'm just doing this, your TV's not on, it's um, you can't see your Xbox screen yet until you plug this into the computer. All right, so my TV's not on right now. I'm gonna plug this to the computer, there we go. I just plugged it in, and now my TV, now my Xbox screen should be showing, because I plugged it into my computer, and there we go. So like I said, you need OBS Studio or the game capture for this. So guys, um, I only have OBS Studio, because I only have that much space to install the um, Elgato game capture. Like I said, all the websites will be down in the description. And so basically, before I begin, guys, I just want to say that with OBS Studio on the Windows, um, it wasn't working at first with the Elgato, and... For the Mac, it does not work, but it does work with the Windows. So what I mean by that is, so I'm gonna open up OBS Studio. So I had like a lot of problems, and like let's say like you did this and it's still not coming on. So I don't know why it's weird, but like this, I have two HDMI ports. I want to top and one right here. I put mine in the bottom one, and then like it like didn't show up, right? So I plugged it in the top one, and then it popped up. So sometimes like it doesn't work like that. But this is how you set it up. So this computer, like I don't like about it, is that this works, but this one's really laggy because like almost out of space and it's a little older. You can see right here that I'm recording. So 
for OBS Studio, um, it's completely safe. I'm, I'm doing the um, game capture after this from Elgato, but for OBS Studio, I like this better because you can screen record. So what you do is you basically you add your scene, and you can name whatever you want. I'll just keep it scene three, and it's kind of glitchy. Like sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does work. And then you want to add, um, so you basically want to add a video capture device, and you can name it um, Elgato. Uh, so name it already used. I'll name it Elgato 12 or whatever. So you go to device, tap on it, and then you see Elgato Game Capture HD. That's what I'm talking about. For the Mac, you, this does not pop up. I don't know why. For, for Windows, it does. At first, for Windows, it didn't pop up, and I reinstalled um, OBS Studio. I reinstalled Game Capture, and I deleted Game Capture, and then it worked. So you got to play around with it, but for Windows, it worked, and for my MacBook Pro, it does not work. But Game Capture, um, Elgato Game Capture HD, you tap on it, and then tap on OK, and then you should see your, um, your game pop up on here. So then you also, for face cam, you want to add another scene. And the scene you want to add, you want to go back to your video capture device. And you can just name this face cam. I already have face cam um, label. So I'm just going to name it face cam. Uh, just whatever, any number. So, and this is HD face cam. And you want to tap on, you might like wait a couple seconds and tap on OK. So that's how you guys do it. So one moment please, that's the Elgato. And sometimes like the face cam doesn't like load, but I have I made another scene which it did load right here. So that's my face cam right there. And then I added different alerts, which I'll show you guys how to do in a little bit. But my Elgato oh for some reason not working. But I don't know, like it's really weird. Right here. And see I have Elgato oh added, but it's like not popping up right now. I, like I don't know what's up with it. And then like sometimes it'll pop up, sometimes it doesn't pop up. So for this one, scene is popping up. So you might just need another scene to add again, but it should just pop up. So guys, um, since Elgato did not pop up on this one, if it doesn't pop up, I don't know why it's not popping up. I mean, I have no clue why. It's, it works, but like sometimes it doesn't work. It's a little annoying, but just delete the Elgato, and then you can just add another, add again for Elgato. So guys, my computer is still loading. I don't know. It's like really slow. Also, like I said, guys, if you don't have a webcam, you definitely need your computer's webcam to obviously have a webcam. Just keep that in mind. So if you guys are having any problems, you can either turn the device on, I mean turn it off, turn it back on, or just close out of OBS Studio and open it back up. So I'm having some problems right now, but that's basically how you guys would do it. Alright guys, so this right here is Game Capture HD Necessity, what you get from the Elgato website, Necessity, the official Elgato thing. So this is what you guys want, and if you guys want to sign in with your account, I have um, I have my YouTube account, my Mitchell account, my other YouTube account, and my Twitch account. So you just basically sign in with your account right here. And then you could tap on either record or you tap on stream and you make sure commentary is on or it's off. So basically that's like your voice. And you also could like do different layers and you can actually edit your layers and add layers. So that's pretty cool. I really like about that. Um, the thing about uh, this is it's only for Elgato. You can record Elgato or you can't like with OBS Studio. You could record your screen and you do all that stuff. And you can add the um, just you can add like different gestures like someone subscribed to you or someone followed you and then like the dancing zombie whatever. You don't do with OBS Studio, you cannot do that with Game Capture HD. So that's that. Um, now I'm gonna open up OBS Studio, and you cannot have them open up at the same time. Like I said, um, this does not work. Elgato for this does not work for me. But basically, if you guys want to um, stream, you go to your settings, and then you go to stream, and then you would basically put your stream key in, and you put the service in. So if it's Twitch, Twitch, which I never do this, uh, YouTube, YouTube, but if it's Mitzer, you would put in you put in mitzer.com or you put in this one one of these two so on the other device like if it doesn't have the mitzer on it for windows it doesn't so make sure you're in the right um location or right server and for mitzer on the windows it's beam.pro so guys to find your stream key all you would do is you go basically to mitzer.com twitch.com and that's how you would basically find it so this right here is Mitzer and then you basically want to copy it and then you want to go back to OBS Studio and then paste it in That's for Mitzer for Twitch. This is right here You want to type on Twitch dashboard and it'll bring you here and then you want to tap on copy right there And then for YouTube you basically just go to your YouTube go to live and tap on the stream Down here the stream um, name dash key type on reveal copy and paste that into OBS Studio and so you guys do that and you guys want the um the pop-ups the alerts you guys want to go to streamlabs.com, like I said, all the links in the description, and 
basically this is you guys can do your set it up differently you go to alert box and set it up and you guys want to sign up with your mixer or your twitch or youtube and then you basically that's how you guys add it to that as soon as you can test it so on my other device i have record run on obia studio because only works on obia studio not game capture hd so and then you can like tap on text and you want to copy and paste that so into obia studio so we go to obia studio you want to copy and paste that so when you guys add it for um obia studio so i'm gonna tap on okay so you, when you guys go to here go to sources go to add and you're gonna go to like the browser source that is where you paste in this right here so you, you tap on copy here and then you go to obs studio you go to sources and you go to add go to browser source and then tap on whatever you want mixer or whatever and then for the url you delete that and you paste in what's from streamlabs here and you could test it by having your live stream up like that and then you can tap on test file and it'll send a test alert and then that's how you know if it's working or not so guys that's my tutorial thanks for watching uh only the description any questions or anything like that comment down below and i hope you guys helped so yeah guys that's my only one video from the elgato so hopefully you guys find everything helpful and like i said comment any questions down below peace